Hello guys and welcome back. I am doing the Witch's Box unboxing for the month of February. I think I have an idea of what's going to happen, of what we're getting. And I am really excited. Um, I'm sorry, I look a little pimple. My period's going to come. And I was doing a smaller exercise. I got a hula hoop. So I've been hula hooping and I was hula hooping. But then I'm like, you know what? My kids are outside right now. It's a good time to do this. So I am. So it's the beautiful box. And it's usual packaging. I think the entire packaging for these boxes are always so beautiful. I love I love the big sticker that they have in the front. Um, it's a shame I have to cut it every single time. And then their golden sheet with their blessed bee sticker. It's just so pretty. And it always hurts me when I have to cut it. I try to be careful sometimes and other days I just not feeling like being careful. Okay, so we have the um, Book of Shadows. And let me go ahead and get rid of some of the little papers here. So in one of the emails, I think they were talking about oracle cards or something about creating our own oracle cards i so i think that's what is, this box is going to be about um it's going to be interesting um i feel like that means a lot of our creative side is going to be able to come out um and intuition i don't know how much of that i have um but i shall have an open so mind. first we have this little black baggie i just opened it Let's see. Okay, we have blank, blank um, cards. And they feel, oh, they feel nice. They're just blank cards. Um, they're a little shiny. So they have a shinier side than the other. We have Penny Royal. Um, I can't read that. I can't read the cursive part. But it does say, note, not for consumption can be toxic to the body. So I don't know what this is. It's, it's, it's a new. Oh, yeah. And then my daughter did my nails, I think, yesterday. And, well, you know, little kid nail polish. It has glue. So it was kind of, it was kind of like coming off. Oh, and then we have catnip. Oh. And we have a little baggie. And it sounds so dice. We have one with actual numbers. And the rest are... two of them fell but they're all clear dice okay there's one more that fell I'll look for that later thank goodness it wasn't marble because then I would have been so sad if they would have chipped but they are clearly plastic okay so that's in this one so we have this it's uh, Nick Bantock creator of Griffin and Sabin Um, the back says New York, New York Times best-selling author and artist Nick Batok presents a groundbreaking oracle deck that helps you create your personal mythology. We have an oracle deck with. First, take a look at the box. It's really pretty. I love how it has writing and it has a picture. And then, of course, it has the little book. And then. This is the back. Well, this two are blank, but yeah, that's the back. And then let's do a quick shuffle. These are so big, it's hard to shuffle them. So I'm going to take a random card. I got this one. 
The Chester may act like a fool, but he is far from being one. So someone that may seem a fool, but is not. So we got a beautiful Oracle deck. And I think we're going to be creating our own. Is that it? That's all we have in this box. So let's see what this says. Okay, so first in here we have the use and making of oracle cards. So yes, we shall be making our own. Um, Penny Royal, Mentha Pol Gim, Methods of Usage, Tea, Potions, Such Charms, Talismans, Rats, Under Pillow. Okay. okay. And then we have Catnip, Let's Waste. I'm a little confused. So we got some pages, well, two pages of stuff I'm imagining that's supposed to inspire us. And I got this one as my card. Okay, so I'm going to read this once again. If I stutter, mumble it too much, I'm not going to put the entire thing. Um, dearest magical, dearest witches, um, I've been dreaming about this box for a while. We've, for a while, we've delved into divination before and we also, and we also have our weekly oracle reading on our YouTube channel. If pressed, I honestly couldn't tell you which I love more, the tarot or the oracle card. They feel very different for me for reasons I will definitely get into in our deep dive video which will be posted on a form. But for now, here's a box where not only do you get the gorgeous Archeo, Archeo Oracle deck by Nick Bantock, but you also get to create your own Oracle deck. So we are. Um, the act of creating a, your own divination tool is a powerful exercise in understanding the symbolism that most resonates with your soul. and subconscious it sometimes it's something i really think every witch should do a few time a few times because you learn about yourself and your individual path and forward this box you will also get a chance to make another divinary tool dice where the oracle card can be rich in ma imag in imaginary and symbolism dice can be numbers and specific symbols like runes or sigils of your own making the two methods can access 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 sig access slightly different parts of your deeper knowing self having this experience can be both enjoyable and really powerful in the deep dive video i'll be covering all of all of this and how to set about the journey of creating these tools for your for yourself both on a soul level and on a practical creative level Okay, blessings, Lena. The Oracle deck by Nick Bentock, one which a pocket theory bag of pen royal, um, a pocket theory bag of catnip, 52 cards of blank deck, one bag of 12 blank dies with one number dies, three pages of college, three pages of college cut out graphics for your Oracle, three pages. Oh, I missed the third one. Here's the third one. So it's three pages. Um, one book of shadows, catnip, one BOS of pen, um, penny royal, BOS of oracle cards, and one tarot card. Hmm. I wonder how this is going to... And I don't find that very inspiring, but that's just me. Well, there you go. That is the book of, that's the book of shadow. That's the unboxing for February. It is all around um, Oracle and creating our own Oracle. We did get a new deck and we have some herbs and some, we're going to have to get creative with this. I don't know how this is going to work. I think I'm going to have to actually go into the deep dive this month. Um because I'm really lost on how that, like I understand the symbolism. I, I prefer tarot over oracle. 
I understand both, but I feel like Oracle beats around the bush versus Tarot. I feel like it's more direct. Um, but that's going to be interesting. I'm interested. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to have to go into the deep dive because I'm really lost on how would we create one. Um, like I said, I don't feel like I have... Uh, my intuition is like right there. But I guess I can make it work. I love a project, so we'll see. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for joining me. Um, I did, for those of you that like watching my makeup videos, I did receive my palette that I just recently purchased for Valentine's from Widow Witch. And I will be doing a video on that very, very soon. Um, I hope you guys have a lovely week. Happy Valentine's if you celebrate. Um, Feliz Dia de Amistad. The amor y amistad. I uh, hope you guys have a lovely, a lovely time, and see you guys later. Bye.